Hello and welcome to Chicago Reacts. My name is Lauren. And before I get going today, I just want to give a big shout out to a couple of channel members. So thank you to Infini underscore Ryu. Thank you to former CT governor. I think there's that. Yep, that's it. Uh, Daniel Malloy. <laughs> thank you for the... Thank you, former Connecticut government, Daniel Malloy. Thank you to the Sinister Six. Thanks to Jack Stamper. Um, I really do appreciate all of the support. Um, if you want to become a channel member and support the channel, you can get your name shouted out. You can get some access to some early content. The main early content that's coming out recently is a lot of Dragon Ball Z abridged stuff, but there's also a couple of videos on our membership that are uh, exclusive to members right now. Um, and you know, if or the other way to support the channel monetarily is to join the Patreon instead. There's a couple of exclusive things over there as well, things like Batman the Animated Series, and then there's a bunch of other anime stuff that's over there. Um, but that's the housekeeping out of the way. You can always like and subscribe. That also helps the channel. Comment, all of that helps as well if you can't support monetarily right now. Um, we would like to we like to hear from you anyway. Um, we like to see you interacting we want to talk to you let us know what we should be reacting to um so today i'm looking at a max bosch video this is u.s marines versus uk special forces who wins paintball so i've seen one of his videos before about paintball um it was his friends versus special forces so i am curious to see if the marines the u.s marines or the uk special forces i'm curious to see which is uh <laughs> which which wins i i have no idea what to expect here because i know that both groups are heavily trained so i know kit would have a bias uh but i don't so i'm just curious to see what's going to happen here let's go surprise my friends at a paintball party with the last year i surprised my friends at a paintball party with the sas they are going to be on my team the uk special forces and they absolutely destroyed my friends yes, oh my goodness but after that video came out a buddy of mine in america his name is preston what's going on preston? sent me a text the u.s marines would destroy the sas oh really well let's test that i hired some u.s marines and a squadron of the sas to take okay. each other on in a series of no idea. I think the Goblin King is probably, or Hall of the Mountain King is probably um, copyright free. But just in case I have to mute the song, it was Hall of the Mountain King. Paintball challenges, all whilst under the command of myself and Preston. We're not in general. Look at us. So that we could determine once and for all <laughs> we're which two, we're twinks. have the better special <laughs> forces. America! But what Preston didn't Yells know freedom. is all of the challenges involved me and Preston being the targets. Three! This is gonna suck. Yeah, it is. I appreciate Max and his um, willingness to get pain to himself. <laughs> like, for it's like, yes, he's gonna put himself down on the same level as he makes everybody else go, and I appreciate that about him. Preston was over in London for a couple of days, so I thought I'd give him the most British time imaginable. We drank some pints, Look at me. watched men kick a ball around, and then I had one more surprise in store for him. I wanted to take him to a classic British pub. Is there anything I'm not supposed to do at the pub? Can I, like, chant USA? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is one way to make sure that everybody, literally everyone will love you. I've heard people really like that here. You guys drink warm beer? Right? Yeah, just as warm as it gets. But the further into the countryside we got, the more suspicious Preston Preston became. This doesn't really feel like <laughs> where a, a pub would be. It feels like we're driving into the forest. And that's because we were. We were. Go paintball. <laughs> no, dude. No, Preston. We weren't going to the pub at all. So we will be paintballing, but... Uh, hopefully they'll go to the pub after. It feels like they're going to deserve a pint after. They're going to deserve some some pub drinks and... Do they do pretzels? Do you do pretzels in the UK? Pub pretzels? They'll deserve it, you know? There is a twist. Okay. Are we gonna be on a team? We are playing with some friends of mine. If you've seen the last video, I think you can work out who the friends of mine no. are. No. Preston? <laughs> <laughs> These gentlemen are the SAS, highly trained operatives from the United Kingdom. I'm kind of scared. But there was one more thing that Preston needed to know. So, you texted me six months ago after the first paintballing video, the US Marines could, of course, beat the SAS. Uh -huh. So today, I will be fighting <laughs> with the SAS, okay. and you will be fighting with the US Marines. 
From a similarly secret source, just with a different nice. accent, I'd brought four ex-US Marines along to be on Preston's team. So after a brief hello, Preston signed a waiver to say it's not All my right. fault if he's blinded by a paintball. Is this me signing my life away? Yeah. Yes. Oh, you have always got to read also, the yes. terms and conditions. Yes. And then it was time to prepare for battle. I think you look great in this. I have a feeling this is going to be covered and this is going to be clean. And as the two newly appointed generals prepare to lead their squadrons into battle, let's meet the teams. Max Fosh, no known tours, speed of bad, precision of bad, stealth of okay, aim of terrible, tactics, fine, I guess. Agility, also fine. There's, uh, agility is okay. Better than precision, less than stealth. First up, Max Fosh and Preston Summero. All right, so he's giving no speed, very, very terrible speed to Preston. Oh, but not great precision. His stealth is bad. His aim is also terrible, but his tactics are good and his agility is damn good. Either know how to fight and are basically two genres of the same man. Preston would be leading the U.S. Marines, the only... Three tours of again with all of, all of these guys. Look at that. Look at their stats. Look at their stats. Thing more American than a bald eagle eating a hot dog and i would be in charge of a group of men with more foreign tours than taylor swift wow look at them look at them go the sas i've never done this before i think that my tactic is just to like run and scream yeah good tactic what well on chaps each team would be facing each other in three challenges with either preston or i suffering a forfeit if we lose for the first game of the day the gauntlet Preston and I would take it in turns to run across the arena, collect our country's flag, and return back to the starting point. Oh my god. All the while, the opposing team soldiers have to hit Horrible. the as many times as possible. The oh winner no. will get to hit the least amount of times. So it sounds like, you know that, um, that scene in The Swan Princess? <laughs> where they, where they do that? Where, where Derek and his friend Rom? use like arrows the different colors to cap to like i think i don't remember if there was a flag involved actually in that one never mind there's not much to understand guys you see the guy in white and you spray the shit out of it things were not looking good for our pristine white suits so it's here and then all the way across the other side i'm back oh that's far and the first one to be target practice was me three this is gonna two, suck one game He's so dead. He's not, he's not doing any evasive maneuvers at all. No mercy for England. Ow. Game over. Ow. Yeah, ow. ow. Great job, Americans. Next up, Preston versus the British Special Air Service. Good luck. Thank you. But little did I know, Preston had created some of his own luck. Remember when they explained the rules? There's never really a moment where they said we couldn't use, I don't know, an umbrella. Do you guys have, like, an umbrella? I think Americans, we think ahead. This feels like That's I love it. Oh, good job, Preston. If I had any, uh, if I had whiskey, I'd drink to you, but I don't. I have tea, so it's. But it is a green. It is like an iced tea, so that makes it American. It's Arizona green tea. Backslash <laughs> type of move. Has he got an umbrella? Oh my god. Uh, we aim at his legs because his shield is the size of a dinner plate. Ah! 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 Oh my god! Ah! Ah! That's not quite a good job there. Yay, <laughs> when did you get the umbrella? 
I asked the people at the front desk. <laughs> it didn't really work, to be honest. Both of us have been absolutely peppered with shots, but looks like it's the umbrella good. took most of Preston's hits. With self-protection not technically against the rules, I did have to let it fly, and it was time for Paintball Dom to assess the damage. The army did a great job, but match was quick. Was Preston, you really impressed me, but the umbrella did a great job as well. So, the winners are the US Army. Yeah. Thanks in part to Preston's Marines, good old Marines, don't call them the army. Oh, don't, isn't that going to get people in trouble? <laughs> I feel like the army and the, like, the marines don't like to be mistaken for each other. Continuity, it was 1-0 to Uncle Sam's boys. But could the SAS even the score in game number two? Next up, Bodyguard. Preston and I, with no weapons, will need to be protected by our team from the opposition. We must make our way from the starting point, collect a secret item, and bring it to the finish line at the other side of the map. Once again, the winner is whoever completes the challenge while getting hit the least. First up this time, Preston. Hands in, USA yeah, on yeah, three. Yeah. With one of the most lackluster USA chants I've ever heard. One, two, three, USA. USA. Okay. USA. <laughs> it was go time. I'm not sure about Preston in this round. This could be a slaughter. US Army! UK SAS! Chase three, two, one! Game the US were off to a blazing start with Preston sprinting straight for the secret item. Looks like Preston's found a special item. I've never been more hydrated. Paintball's thirsty work, so this video is sponsored by Air Up. Air Up is just water, but it works through something called retronasal taste. That's the new way to drink. Mmm. Wild berry. As if I've picked those berries from this forest right here. Ow, that's a nettle. Ah! It's recommended that big boy adults like myself drink two litres of water every single day. And my Air Up bottle helps me get through those pesky milliliters with such... See, I don't, I have, I use air, I've used air up before myself and I found it to be fairly effective. No idea if it is, if it works or if it's placebo. Um, but I've felt like it worked personally. So, I mean, like it, it might, it might work. It might be placebo. I don't know, but it worked for me. Flavors as raspberry, bubble gum and cherry cola. The worst part of it is that like, it can be difficult to clean the lid. Like, that was, like, the worst part of it for me. Like, trying to, like, you have to have, like, a specific straw brush kind of thing in order to clean it effectively, and that's kind of annoying. I wish I had a gun. <laughs> but for me... But what do you do with the gun, Barry, Preston? Very much. Guys, if you want some, use the promo code FOSH10 for 10% off. Should I make a run for it? Air Up's helped me cut down on my fizzy drink intake and basically help me drink lots more water. So thanks, Air Up, and thanks for sponsoring the video. <sighs> Right, I think it's my turn. Am I in pain? Yeah. Great job, guys. Really destroyed me. <laughs> How, like, I w why aren't they used, they should be using a different color of paint, I think. Or are they getting new, um, are they getting new white suits every time? Because, like... Otherwise, how would they know? Yeah, in the neck and the head. <laughs> but dude, I was so hydrated. Oh, really <laughs> that was good. Okay. Now it was the Brits turn and thankfully for this round, it sounded like they were slightly more prepared. What, what should we do? So we'll come up with a fairly good decent plan. I'll just stag with one hand on your shoulder and control you a little bit. Okay. Up. I'll be sticking with one of my soldiers while the rest of the team will distract the opposition. Yeah, Straight across. Three, three, Plan was paying off. Three, two, one, let's go. We managed to secure the secret item without a lick of paint on me. Nice! Three, two, one, move. But then, disaster. Oh, shit. With my soul protector out of the game and the rest of my team oh, locked in a firefight, okay. I had to risk the hit and make a run for it. Okay, that's good. That's good because the. So the protectors can still get hit out of the game. I like it. So like that's why they're trying to so I want so I guess the other ones if the SAS managed to like knock out the American team as well then they would that's one less person shooting at you. All right. Thank you Lauren for explaining the rules of paintball. You're so knowledgeable and smart and pretty. Thank you for explaining paintball to us. For that's
Right on my head. Um. Right. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. But what were the official results of game number two? Based on the levels of paint, we are going to give the win to the SAS. Yeah! yeah. One all right, one to one. one. Piece. With two games all right, completed, America, scores let's go. Even, it was becoming clear we had an unstoppable force against an immovable object. That is so sweaty. And we drew. <laughs> A so proper nice. tie. Yeah. With no final way to decide it. I feel like it should be mano a mano. The standoff. I think there's only really one way in which we can settle this. With the score tied at one game each, there was only one way to decide the winner. No soldiers, no bodyguards, two YouTubers, and only one shot each. Oh, Good dear. luck, Max. Good luck. Five, four, three, two, one. I mean, ah! right on the arm, the arm is enough to knock you right down. Preston, UK. Preston? Hey, man. Good shot. And there you have it. The US and UK special forces may have been evenly matched, but when it comes to floppy haired YouTubers, Amazing. the UK wins hands down. <laughs> Ten days later, back in LA, it was time for Preston to carry out his forfeit. And before he does, make sure you go give him a sub. Amazing. He's making the best okay. vids on YouTube right now, in my opinion, and he's an absolute gent. Hey, yeah. Lost a bet to the British special forces, so. Last year. <laughs> He just gotta, he's gonna tell the random guy at the cafe who does not care. That man did not give any kind of fuck. <laughs> like, I mean, I mean, look, it's America. People wear weird stuff here all the time forever. Like I have seen the weirdest stuff just at the local jewel. Like <laughs> a guy decked out in like all UK gear. That's fine. It's like, oh, okay. That's a choice. It's like, you think, oh, that's a choice. And then you go on with your day. Like, I lost the bet. No one cares, sir. <laughs> Sorry, Preston. Um, but that was fun. I enjoyed that video. I hope you all enjoyed that video also. If you want to see more Max Fosh, let me know. If you want me to check out some of Preston's video, go and let me know. Max Fosh has a video called I Broke Silly Laws in Front of the Police, and that sounds like a video I would love. So thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. Go ahead and let me know in the comments below if you want to see more stuff like this, or if not, tell me that too. Tell me if you hated it. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.